What's up guys, it's Matt the One Handed Gamer. Today we're doing a review on the S52 CQV and Valve 4. Now this carbine really blew me away when I started to use it. It's one of the later carbines you unlock in Valve 4. Now the recoil is a little hard to deal with at some times and you should burst at long range. Now this gun is the very last unlock and it takes some time so you really need to equip a carbine and really get some kills with carbines before you unlock this gun. Now I know most of you don't like this gun because it's one of those guns where you love to use it but you hate getting killed by it. Now I wouldn't compare this gun to any other carbine except for maybe the ace 23 which is not a carbine it's a assault rifle because all the ace weapons all are uh, all compared comparable to each other the ace 52 and the ace 23 are different the ace 52 uses a larger caliber bullet size but the ace 23 has more, bull more bullets in the magazine the ace 52 only has 25 bullets in the magazine but it makes up for it for its max damage of 34. Now that's pretty good damage for any weapon except for shotguns which have uh, definitely a bigger higher damage output. Now let's go ahead and look at all the stats on the screen right here. Now I already said the maximum damage is 34. Now the minimum damage is 20 and that is really good for any carbine this weapon does not have a very big damage drop off as I said before it only drops down to 20 let's go ahead and look at the fire rate as a fire rate of 600 rounds per minute or 650 rounds per minute and you can fire fire a burst rounds as it says it's still 650 rounds per minute now the muzzle velocity is 400 meters per second and with the suppressor on it is 270 meters per second and the bullet drop 15 meters per second squared as you can see in this graph right here it drops off 20 at 50 meters now let's go ahead the mag size as I said before it's 25 rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber now the bullet type it's using 7.62 NATO rounds which is standard for most carbines and other NATO weapons now let's go ahead and look at the reload time it's 3.1 seconds empty but if you have some bullets left in the magazine it's 2.2 now the recoil up is 0.45 if you know how to handle it it's fine at long distances and the recoil left is 0.25 and the same for the right is 0.25 now I guess you guys are wondering what I think is the best accessories to put on, attachments. Uh, all I've been using in this entire video is a Coyote red dot sight. It's the best because it has a small red dot and you can be very accurate with it at long range. And since it doesn't zoom in too much or at all, you can see around you and you have good division if anyone's coming to flank you. And uh, I would also recommend trying out a suppressor on this weapon once you unlock it but definitely do not use a laser sight because you can be spotted very easily with a laser and also don't use a flashlight flashlights are super annoying but I'm wrapping up this video right now and uh, please leave a comment down below tell me what weapon you want to see me review next so thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next video